Have you ever considered introducing rental or resale to your brand? More and more retailers are moving towards a circular economy. Rental and resale both extend the life of an existing garment and minimize the losses experienced through managing returns. The process of transitioning may seem complex, but what if someone else overlooked and executed the transition and overall operation? Let's begin with the onboarding process. Upon joining our operations, the first step in the process is to link your website to our systems using advanced API links. This ensures that all orders placed on your website will be sent directly to our warehouse management system, maximizing efficiency. Once the garments arrive on site, discrete RFID tags are sewn into each item. The use of RFID technology allows us to track garments whilst on site and increases accuracy and efficiency further as we have the ability to scan multiple garments instantaneously. Each SKU is then added to our system and you are ready to go. Once up and running, we manage the entire reverse logistics process. Whether rented, returned or pre-loved and ready for resale, every item that arrives back on site at our facility is treated with the same delicate care. Checking. First, we scan the items collectively thanks to the integrated RFID technology. The unworn items identified by ribbons still attached are treated on a case-by-case -case basis. Those without ribbons are sent to the cleaning and sanitization. Each item is scanned throughout each of the following steps. Sanitization. Every item goes into our large ozone sanitization chamber. When working at full capacity, we can sanitize 30,000 garments per day. This process eradicates odors, bacteria, germs, and viruses, sanitizing garments to a medical grade standard. Garments that are marked or stained are then treated by our laundry specialists before being cleaned in our ozone laundry machine for a more robust yet low impact clean. The filters built in our washing machines capture hazardous microplastics and minimize water pollution. The use of ozone allows us to clean and sanitize items using minimal water and energy. Care and repair. Where necessary, garments are then passed to our expert textile specialist who repair tears, replace zips and buttons and make light tailored adjustments. Steam. Once ready, garments travel around our facility in our state-of-the-art sortation system along to the steam tunnel. Our steam tunnel can be adjusted to suit the materials of each garment and can rapidly steam 1,500 items per hour. Protect. Once steamed, they travel again to the bagger where they are covered in a recycled poly to protect them from any particles in the air, keeping them in a pristine condition whilst in storage. This poly is 100% recycled at source. That's it, the garments are processed and ready for their next order. Fast moving items then travel to our dynamic buffer where they remain until they are rented or ready to leave our facility once more. This dynamic buffer can store 45,000 items at any given time and we have the capacity to extend this to 60,000. But it doesn't stop there. We have an abundance of static storage space with a current capacity of approximately 3 million items. When an order is due to leave our facility, the items travel to our packing stations where they are packed and ready for dispatch via your chosen courier. The circular economy is going to change the way we live and consume. It's the future of fashion and ACS can help you get there with minimal risk and maximum reward. Introducing rental or resale in partnership with ACS will create an additional stream of revenue with minimal upfront investment. Our extensive R&D, resources, expertise, capacity and environmentally friendly processes make us perfectly positioned to fulfill your circular solutions at scale. It's profitable, sustainable, innovative and scalable. It's for the people, the planet and economic profit. It's advanced clothing solutions. Join us.
mountains, sleeping giants, beautiful, extreme, our playground. These peaks in our planet are at a critical stage. The choices we make every day impact their chance of survival. The clothing we wear comes at a huge cost to the future of humanity and the environment. We sought out pioneering brands that pride themselves on creating more responsible products to ensure the clothing you see is held to a high sustainable standard. We aren't scientists or climate activists. We're just people who are passionate about our winters, who want to create a home for a global community where we can learn from each other and make better choices about what we wear. Giving our mountains the best chance of survival. Welcome to EcoSki, introducing a new world of circular ski wear. Looking at EcoSki's brand portfolio really excites me because there's a lot of my absolute all-time favourite brands in there. I spent 20 years wearing Lycra, like the skin-tight race suit. So in retirement, I actually want to look a bit cool, I want to feel cool, I also want to be warm. EcoSki have so many brands that they have done the, the groundwork on. You know, knowing that it's not just about what the fabric's made of, it's where it comes from, the labour behind it, what it's dyed with, there's so much information that they're doing for me and I can just go, I love this jacket, it's got their seal of approval, it's got mine too. Join my team. No, 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 no. My team. No, 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 no. Join my family. The little white cap that's floating at the top of the planet, that's our air conditioning system for the entire Northern Hemisphere. Once that little white cap has melted and gone, we don't have an air conditioning system anymore. 
I think the fashion industry has one of the biggest impacts on the planet there is. There's plenty of eco brands that produce clothing now specifically for cold, harsh environments. You don't need to compromise on any fabric nowadays when you're going to extreme environments. Namaste everyone! I'm Vincent. Today we will make a jacket from sugar cane waste. For this recipe, you will need sugar cane waste, button and zip. That's it. Start repreating your oven to approximately 140-160, then get all the ingredients ready. Mix the sugar cane waste on a light fire. After 12 minutes, you will get some nice white yarn. Chef tip! I love this ingredient. Most of the chefs use a bad product, like a plastic. But me, I use a biosourced ingredient. It's much cooler for the planet. Once ready, let's for yarn cool down. And after, you can drink a bit. If you want. Mm. Next step. Gently spread your dough, roll the yarn, until you get a nice fabric. Add some button and zip in top of it. To finish, Bake 18, 20 minutes, thermostat 17. Et voilà!
Join my team. No, 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 no. My team. No, 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 no. Join my family. Mountains. Sleeping giants. Beautiful. Extreme. Our playground. These peaks in our planet are at a critical stage. The choices we make every day impact their chance of survival. The clothing we wear comes at a huge cost to the future of humanity and the environment. We sought out pioneering brands that pride themselves on creating more responsible products to ensure the clothing you see is held to a high sustainable standard. We aren't scientists or climate activists. We're just people who are passionate about our winters, who want to create a home for a global community where we can learn from each other and make better choices about what we wear. Giving our mountains the best chance of survival. Welcome to EcoSki, the home for circular ski wear. Namaste everyone, I'm Vincent. Today we will make a jacket from sugar cane waste. For this recipe, you will need sugar cane waste, button and zip. That's it. Start repreating your oven to approximately 140-160, then get all the ingredients ready. Mix the sugar cane waste on a light fire. After 12 minutes, you will get some nice white yarn. Chef tip. I love this ingredient. Most of the chefs use a bad product, like a plastic. But me, I use a biosourced ingredient. It's much cooler for the planet. Once ready, let's for yarn cool down. And after, you can drink a bit. If you want. Mm. Next step. Gently spread your dough, roll the yarn, until you get a nice fabric. Add some button and zip in top of it. To finish, bake 18, 20 minutes, thermostat 17. Et voilà!